Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This is going to be my very first little Bible study slash lesson slash inspiration, encouragement thing. So let's get right into it. The text is going to be Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 and 5, the Shema. Very, very well-known passage of Scripture. Reading out of the New King James Version. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Now, the point that I'm going to bring out of this is I'm going to just go right off the bat and do something very controversial. This one's going to be addressed mainly to non-believers. If you so happen to look at this, I hope you do. Christians out there, encourage people that are not believers to look at this. What I want to get from this passage, according to my God, Jesus, the Messiah of the Jewish people, he said that this is the first and greatest commandment, to love the Lord your God. And in the Old Testament, I just finished reading in the chapters preceding this one, how God commanded the actual genocide of several peoples in the land of Canaan. And here we see God saying, well, I want you to love me. Wouldn't you kind of think that the God of the Old Testament would say, fear me, obey me, heed my commandments, or else? What does love have to do with all of that? In fact, if you back up to Leviticus 19, the chapter after all of the you know, sexual do-nots, the commandment is, once again spoken, love your neighbor as yourself, which Jesus said is likened unto the first, which I just read. Is it possible that the God of the Old Testament really does have love, just like the God of the New, the God I worship, Jesus Christ. Is it possible that if the Old Testament is looked at through the, through the lens of the eyes of love, could that possibly rewrite your opinion of who God is and maybe even your entire understanding of the Old Testament? Some of these are going to be challenges. I want you guys to think. I want you guys to probe, to delve in deeper into who God is. So I'm just going to hit it big right off the bat. Let's look at the God of the Old Testament, and let's challenge the notion that he was all about meanness and brutality and horrors and terrors and judgment, and that love may have been a really, really huge motivation behind what he did. Thank you guys very much. I love you. God bless.